saying my name is AC Coakley. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new video for you today. I'm going to be talking about Ghana in December. It is going to be enjoyment. So please, if you are ready for it, let's head into this video. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that jazz. Let's get to it. So I wrote nothing down. I'm really just going off the dome, you know. <laughs> um, I'm actually organizing a trip to Ghana this December. So that's going to be fun. I'm bringing my friends. But I know a lot of other people are coming to Ghana. And this may be your first time. So I just wanted to give you a couple of tips. A couple of things to note. A couple places to go. Things to look forward to while you are there. It's going to be really fun. I have a lot of great things planned for my audience to see. I'm going to definitely vlog. I'm going to uh, do a bunch of interviews. A lot of things are coming. I don't want to give it all away, but it's going to be great. And I'm so excited I get to share all of that with you guys. You get to come along with me. So, first thing, you know are the tickets. If you have not gotten your ticket yet, but you are for surely planning on going, it is not about to go down. Tickets are 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 even, depending on where you are in the world. <laughs> and what time you wanna leave, what day you wanna leave, tickets are not cheap. The earlier, the better for next time. But the earlier the better is definitely the motto when it goes it comes to going to Ghana, going to Africa, get your tickets as early as you can. And then speaking of getting tickets and money, let's just get into money. Money is Ghana's expensive now. I just did my What's the Wahala AC video and I talked about how groceries and just basic needs in Ghana has gone up 122% compared to the rest of Sub-Saharan Africa. Whoa, like that is crazy. So yes, when you get to Africa, a lot of things are cheaper, but it is a lot more expensive than it used to be, which is hard on the people. So just keep that in mind that you guys are getting to spend all this money, you have the money, you have the resources, but the people are struggling a bit. So make sure that, you know, if you can, definitely help out if you can, in whatever capacity, help out if you can. Don't just go to another country that is struggling and don't help out, like, do your part if you can. But speaking of money, yes, definitely exchange the money out there. They mostly take CDs. I don't know if they take dollars now. It probably depends on the place. It could be also places you go for excursions that take dollars. But the best way is to really exchange your money. You're going to get the more bang for your buck if you exchange your money. And I would take new money. So if you are bringing $100 bills, which I suggest you do. Don't take $20 bills because they give you less money for that. But if you go, take $100 bills and make sure they are the new $100 bills because they will also take off money if it, they're older, $100. So moving away from money, we are all probably going to Afrochella. That's going to be an amazing, an amazing time. I've been to Afrochella. I went in 2019. I got there the same day as Afrochella and that's when it was only one day. So I was super tired, but now that I'm getting there the day before, I'll definitely have time to rest and re-up and have a good meal. And that's what I suggest, you know, it's hot. We're gonna be outside. The food might be a little overpriced, you know, at festivals that happens. So make sure that you get a good meal in, you drink your water, you have all the things to keep yourself cool because most of the activities get started at nighttime. Definitely go in the daytime and see all the booths and uh, photo op areas, but make sure that like you're ready to really spend your time at night getting the whole festival experience because that's when it really kicks in. And you know, it's not like America where things stop at 11 or 12 p.m it goes past that it may even go to four in the morning i was there till four in the morning in 2019 so 
just be prepared for that whatever you need to prepare to prepare yourself to be out that late speaking of other excursions and things like that there's definitely the elmina castle the slave castle you can go and they show they do a tour and they take you on the tour through the slave castle where the slaves uh were taking the history behind it all it's really essential i feel like to hearing just about the history about it it can be very impactful i've gone many times as a child and then now i think yeah when i went in 2019 that was the first time it really really meant something to me so i know for a lot of african americans that are going that don't necessarily know where they come from in africa this might be something that like means a lot and so i definitely suggest going to the elmina slave castle there's also the cape coast castle they're both in cape coast and they're not too far from each other but i i've only been to the elmina one so i can only speak to that one but i'm pretty sure it, things are similar so whichever one you want to go to definitely make that trip and it's about a three hour to four hour trip from accra so definitely leave early because you will hit traffic okay you will hit traffic and it'll make the trip even longer so leave at five or six in the morning so you can really get the rest of the day in cape coast and then you can go to the beach after there's tons of beaches in cape coast also what you can do in cape coast is go to the cancun canopies out there they have about i think it's 10 of them you can choose to just do three and then <laughs> get off and go back down or you can choose to do all 10 and it takes you through the this jungle basically this rainforest type of deal and then you get to walk through different canopies keep going higher and you keep going higher and higher and higher and it's it's scary but it's also um an experience that you may not want to miss out on so there's a little bit of a hike that's something to be aware of there's a little bit of a hike that um you're going pretty high up not pretty high up but you're going up and so if you're not wearing the right shoes if you're not prepared for a little bit of a hike make sure that i'm preparing you for the hike uh, so. make sure you definitely go through accra there's tons to see in accra you can go to the kwame nkrumah museum to circle you can go to the uh, square you can go to the market the mark you could go to Can Kaneshi Market or Makula Market. Both are nice. I personally like Makula Market a little bit better because Kaneshi can be a little more expensive and it's a little harder to navigate, I feel like, than Makula. So I would definitely suggest going to Makula Market and it's in the area of like Kwame Nkrumah Museum and all of the other things there. There's also the arts building. There's tons of things to see over there. So definitely add an Accra day to your itinerary because might as well see the city that you're in <laughs> the capital it was built for tourists to go and see so there are tons of things that you can do beaches there are beaches everywhere in Ghana is surrounded on the coast by water so we have a lot of beaches we have Bojo Beach and there's Labadi Beach in Accra. Out of those two, my favorite is definitely Labadi, but I live closer to Bojo Beach, so I go there more often. You can horseback ride at the beach. There's food, there's drinks, there's great times. A lot of people go during the holidays, so the beach will always be packed and it'll be a party anytime you go. Something new that's really coming to Ghana are resorts. I would say if you have the time and you kind of want like a little bit of a bougie experience um but not for that much money i would go to a resort there's the aqua safari resort the royal senchi resort there's a bunch of resorts i'll put them all in the description of what you can go and see and where you can go and be sometimes they just have day trips you don't have to stay over at the resort you can just go and do the jet skis and see the animals and 
do other things there get massages and then go home or you can actually stay there like a hotel experience or a resort experience and do that so there. that's that on the excursion side I, I'm putting a lot more down in the description of what you can actually do but that those are a couple things to give you ideas of things to do if you are trying to plan your own little itinerary so some places to turn up are Polo Beach Club, Bloom Bar, The Hangover, uh, Little Havana, Republic, which is pretty great for tourists. It's an outside pub and a lot of tourists go there if you would like to go. Carbon, Exhale Lounge, Back and Front, or no, no, Front Back. <laughs> yeah, Sky Bar, Sandbox, and Area Bar. Those are the ones that I suggest going to. I've either been, I've had friends go, or I've also done my research and watched um, a couple of YouTubers that have actually gone to these places. So those are some options that you can add if you're trying to figure out where to go. Most of them are near Osu, but throughout Accra, and they're not really hard to get to. Speaking of getting to places, transportation is a big thing. So if you want, you can use Uber. Uber is out there uber is a big one but bolt is something that more people use because the prices are cheaper on bolt you can have the option to pay through your card or you can give them cash most of the time I like to give them cash and they prefer that too I would just choose that option if you can but if you can't definitely have it charged on your card and then regarding the buses that's the tra tra I don't know if I suggest for <laughs> tourists to use that. Only if you're going with someone that knows the area. They will be able to navigate you on the buses a little bit better. But uh, by yourself, it might be a little more difficult. Places to eat. These are a couple that I've written down that I haven't gone to. But I've also done research on them to see, if, see how they are. And they look pretty legit. I don't usually eat out because I've always eaten at home, so there was there is always food at home. But there's tea bar, there's fat fish, there's buka. If you're looking for breakfast, there's Cafe Mondo and Breakfast 2. Um, I believe there's also a place called Mangoes and Crazy Burger, which is Rochelle. She moved from Canada to Ghana and she's a YouTuber and that is her new burger spot. So if you are looking for burgers in Ghana, Crazy Burger is one place to try. So another couple other things to note if you are going, Ghana is going to be a great time. It's just make sure that you are taking these precautions in order or precautions and then also knowing and being aware of these things so that your time is a great time. Ghana can be safe, but crime happens. Anywhere you go, crime is happening. Um, so just make sure you are aware of your things. Don't leave your things down where you may think it's safe unless you know for a fact it's safe. It's just make sure you are aware of your, your belongings and where they are and making sure you have a lock to certain things just so that doesn't ruin your trip. <laughs> And speaking of actually coming on the trip, I would get air tags if possible and put them in your bags. Just in case you lose them, you can track them. If you have not done your visa package yet or your visa application yet, make sure you get on that right away. Everyone that has bought their ticket to Ghana is sending their visa application in right now. So it is packed and they are trying to get them all approved as fast as they can. And so please make sure that you get that done and correctly as soon as possible because it does take, they say three weeks on the website, but I would give yourself like four to five weeks. The people in Ghana are very nice. We are known for being polite and happy and just great people overall. But... <laughs> No, not but and because that negates it. Just make sure you are giving that same type of respect back. I know sometimes we may forget to say thank you and please and all of that stuff, but they will not forget. So please <laughs> make sure you are being polite because you are coming into another person's country and they're just trying to show you hospitality. So make sure you return that back to them. Also with Afrochella, I don't know 
what you can bring in, but I would bring in blankets. I would bring in, if you can bring in a chair. I haven't looked on the website, but I think those things are okay. If you can, bring those in because you will be on your feet for a very long time. Um, like I said, people are partying until 4 a.m. So there's not much seating over there. And so make sure you, you just, you're able to bring blankets or something to lay down and sit because you're going to be there for a while. Use WhatsApp to communicate to your friends, your family, to whoever you're there with. WhatsApp will be your best friend. That's mostly how we communicate there and how we communicate here to Africa or to other places around the world. And speaking of phones, I would check in with your phone provider before you leave to go to Ghana to see what they can provide for you. If they can't provide much, I suggest maybe getting a Ghana chip when you get there and then you load money onto it and that's how you can use Wi-Fi there. The only thing with that is that you do, won't have your um, American number anymore. Just while the chip is not, while your American chip is not in, you won't have your American number. So you'll have a new Ghana number and then you'll get to still use your apps and still use the things that you want to on the phone. But that's just something to keep in mind. You won't get iMessages if you're on Wi-Fi, all of those things. So yeah, I suggest doing that if you would like to have Wi-Fi while you're out and about. But if you're going to be able to uh, survive without it and be able to navigate yourself with Without it then I would just suggest waiting till you get back to your hotel or wherever you're staying to use that Wi-Fi you know we don't need to post as we go all the time you know enjoy the moment you're in Africa okay oh my gosh and something to really be prepared about that we cannot help <laughs> is the traffic out there traffic can get bad but also know if you are worrying about being on time to some place don't worry, we're all going to be on time. <laughs> we're all late, so we're all going to be on time. It does not matter. Yeah, the traffic just gets really bad and you can be in it for hours, but if you're with a great group of people, then you can definitely make the most of your time when you are in traffic. And then boom, you're there. And the driving can be crazy, which also adds to the traffic. But uh, I feel like, I don't know, everybody kind of has a handle on their driving. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. They've just been driving like this for years. And if you can drive in Ghana, you could drive wherever. So yeah, they got it. Be a little patient when it comes to the traffic. And with patience, it's also be a little patient when it comes to everything else. Ghana is a lax, lax, lax country. So, you know, they take their time with things. Sometimes too much time. But it's just also something to be aware of. It's not fast, fast on the go. You're not mostly going to get that type of service. So just be patient. Go with the flow. It'll help you enjoy the trip a little bit better. And I think that is it of what I wanted to just like prepare you guys for. But Ghana in December is going to be fun no matter if you're coming before Christmas, during Christmas, after Christmas. The whole time of the holidays is going to be fun. If you want to know more things, ask me more questions in the comments. If I get a lot of questions, I'll definitely make a part two. I'm preparing as well, so anytime that I remember something, I can definitely add it to the video, add it to another video, and share more with you guys. These are just a couple of things that I'm um, sharing with my group of people that I am taking that I want to share with you guys as well that I feel like you should know if this is your first time going to Ghana. This is not your first time. I don't know why you're watching it. I'm just kidding. Thank you for supporting. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Medasipan. Bye.